Hey YouTubers, today we're painting an armoire and I'll just explain how I go about it as we go. So let's get into it. This is our piece of furniture. It's a fairly large piece but we should be able to paint it fairly quickly. It's just the two doors, the frame and two sides essentially and the piece of crown on the top. So the first thing we want to do is take our hardware off. So these little handles are just held on with a Phillips screw. That's why it's handy for us as painters to have some hand tools at least. Let's put our screw back in there. Know where it is. Same with the other side. And we're ready to sand. Our sanding sponge, a used one is, is good. It doesn't have to be too aggressive, but it does have to have some rough stuff on there. And we're just going to lightly buff it up, pull over, knock off the high spots. Put the strip sand over, over the whole area, and then we'll dust it off as we go and we'll be ready to paint. Just want to take our damp cloth, not really soaking wet. We just go over the whole piece and get that get any dust that we may have created with our sanding block or our sandpaper. And just make sure that we get all that off before we get into our next step, which is actually painting. So before we get into painting, I thought we'd just take a quick look at the products we're using today. You can see our large handy roller pail and it has the wide mouth so we can use our whiz roller. This is the Wooster Produce Roller which is like a mini roller. It spins easier, it has a tendency not to slide. And then we're using a two inch brush, a smaller brush because we're going to have some cutting in around the hardware on this piece and we have some uh, narrow sections on the piece that we're going to be painting. We've got a slightly smaller brush and this brush has the Teflon bristles on it because we're going to be using a product. This is CIL Duo. But what it is, it's a paint and primer in one. And these paint and primers in one and 100% acrylics are really good products for coverage. But they're, uh, they play havoc on our brushes. So we want to be using a nylon a uh, bristle brush or uh, in this case it's um, a blend of uh, Teflon bristles and nylon bristles and so uh, it's good because the paint releases off the brush and they're great for cleanup as well and they actually uh, function very well they're for cutting ability they're uh, really good brushes so that's a look at our product that we're going to be using let's get into painting so you can see we've done the side of this unit. What we did was we just painted this top crown mold first with the brush and then we painted down about an inch with the brush to the top of the flat area and then we cut in at the bottom and we used the flat part of the brush painted the bottom two inches and then we just cut in the quarter of an inch to the floor so that's why we have our drop sheet down, we could have cardboard, we could have some kind of other protective paper or plastic but we gotta save the floor and we cut right down to the bottom we did the same on the other side so now both our sides are done, remember this is first coat but for a dark green to cover a red base like this, a red color we're doing okay we should be able to coat this in two and have good coverage. Now another reason why we want to use the primer paint is because when we sand this stuff we get down to the bare wood in spots and you know it's a little bit of a rustic looking unit um, so when we have bare wood like this because of our sanding the primer paint will adhere to that no problem so that's another reason why we want to use it. There's another example of 
how the paint has been sanded down to the bare wood. And so when we use the primer paint we don't have to fuss. We can just get our two coats on and we're done. Now because of the doors we're going to paint them first then we're going to paint our crown mold at the top then the frame that we can see and we're going to open our doors, finish painting the frame inside while this paint is still wet and then we paint the inside of the doors. So while we're painting the frame the outside is getting somewhat dry by the time we open them up we can paint and hopefully we don't damage the outside of these doors too much if they lean against this part of the armor. So let's get into it. See how it goes for us. So to do the doors, it's like any other panel door, we want to do our details first. Make sure we get good coverage in the details there. Take our whiz roller fill in the middle panels. You'll notice how freely this roller moves. If you can't really tell on the video, you would you will really see the difference in a real application. Paint that. Make the bottom panel. Spread that paint out from left to right. Then wet the roller again up. Sunk it down, but then get our cross pieces and our verticals. finish this off, what we do, start from the top and work our way all the way through. Gently bring it all the way down. sure that we haven't caught the edges with our roller there's no heavy deposits that are going to run or sag on us so that door is complete we do the same on the other door and we'll be ready for frames so now that we've faced off the doors we need to paint out the frames so we're just going to go ahead and take our brush again we don't want to thin this paint out too much, we've got to get some product on there, don't want to be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. 
And we'll start off with the detail of the crown, if we want to call it that. And we want to paint the flats and come down like approach the door frame. You'll see, you know, if there's a gap, we can kind of poke down into the gap a little bit. And then we just start to cover these flats here and just try to get into the edge of that door as much as you can. Cut down to our hardware that we can see. Cut in around it. Some more paint on our brush and work our way around the whole the whole armoire, the perimeter. Same on the other side. Cut around the hardware. course you can imagine if you had a bigger brush, even a half inch bigger, might be a little cumbersome eh? trying to get around this hinge detail. The two inch seems to give us the coverage we need for the detailed area and the flats here and the rest we can get with the roller. The perimeter of the frame is done. I mean, this one, the, here we've caught most of it. You see we have a half an inch or so, three quarters of an inch left plus this inside edge. So these doors aren't completely wide open yet. But I notice that there's some paint build up on the inside of our frames here. So we just want to wipe those back a little bit. I don't want to be afraid to get our hands dirty because we won't be painting this for a little bit yet. So just make sure you knock those down. You just wipe off that build up. This side didn't look too bad. When you go back to your frame, you can see that it's still wet, so just continue painting where that edge is, and fill that in, make sure you catch all those spots that you sanded off that were bare wood, paint your edge. paint then you paint this edge do that first and then fill in the rest of your flat piece a little bit more cutting in around that hinge inside edge first Now you'll notice the inside of this armoire is not painted. And if it were, and it was to be repainted, obviously you do all this first. And you pretty much get away with using the whiz roller for the entire area. But it's handy to have your 2 inch brush, just in case you can't quite get into the corners. But you'd have to coat that first before you dealt with the outside of the armoire. Just cut in to that hinge again. These doors are wide open and they're providing a bit of resistance, but they're not touching the other frame, so that's a, a bit of a bonus for us. However, the paint is drying up, so it wouldn't have been too big of a problem. Anyway, now we're ready to paint the inside of our doors. So we just pretty much follow the same principle as the face of the doors. We cut in this panel first, make sure we get some paint on that this quarter inch profile.
have this back side of this hinge here, we cut that in. And again, you'll be glad you use a slightly smaller brush on this. Cut in the whole panel, then you take your whiz roller, start off in the middle piece. Or I should say you start off in the panel itself. Do both panels. Do the flats. And then just run down the whole door, all the way down, from top to bottom, with the roller. Make sure you catch any areas where the roller drops off a little too much paint. Like that. And you do the other side, and then you've done your first coat. So there's a quick shot of the final product. I hope you enjoyed the video.